In a leaked internal document, Swiss food giant Nestle acknowledged that more than 60% of its mainstream foods and drinks do not meet recognized of definitions of health. According to a report by Financial Times in a leaked internal document, Swiss food giant Nestle acknowledged that more than 60% of its mainstream foods and drinks do not meet a recognized definition of health. They acknowledge that some of their products will never be healthy, no matter how much they renovate. The presentation was circulated among leading executives this year and seen by the Financial Times drew attention to some startling facts about the nutritional and health elements of products by Nestle, the world's largest fast-moving consumer goods company, which boasts net sales of over 93 billion US dollar per year. Only 37% of the company's products, as calculated by revenues and excluding items like pet food and specialized medical nutrition, receive a rating about 3.5 under Australia's health star rating system that scores food products out of 5 with a maker of Kit Kat, Maggi Noodles, and Nescafe going on to calling this rating as a recognized definition of health, even though 70% of its product failed to meet even the 3.5 threshold, including 96% of beverage except pure coffee and 99% of its confectionery and ice cream products. On the other hand, 82% of its water products and 60% of its dairy products met the threshold. IDX Channel reports. The Financial Times reported that the contents of Nestle's leaked internal documents, in which the documents shows that many Nestle products were not in the healthy category. Related to this, various parties have responded, including the government through the Food and Drug Administration's agency and the Consumers Foundation representing the community. So what is actually contained in the document? Let's check it out on the first graphic. Through the first graphic, we can see the report leaks of Nestle products. It is stated by Financial Times that 60% of the Nestle products are unhealthy and only 37% of Nestle's food and beverage products received a 3.5% rating from Australia Health Rating System. Some Nestle products will not fall into the healthy category despite many updates. And Nestle is now on damage control mode after a report stated that over 60% of its food portfolio is unhealthy. And the company said that it's updating its nutrition and health strategy. And the food giant stated that it is working on a company-wide project to update its nutrition and health strategy and is looking at its entire portfolio to make sure that its product meets the nutritional needs. The world's largest food company said that it had reduced sugars and sodium in its product by about 14 up to 15 percent in the past seven years and would continue to make its products healthier. And Nestle say that in recent years, they launched thousands of products for kids and families that meet external nutrition yardsticks. And not only that, several product categories are also mentioned in the document and more details in the next graphic. Through the next graphic, we can see that 96% of beverage products, excluding pure coffee, are not good enough for health. And 82% of beverage products meet the threshold. And 99% of portfolio of sweet and ice cream is not good for health. And 60% of dairy products meet the health threshold. And still we got it from Financial Times, but Nasla has spent the past week attempting to repair their reputations the following leak. And it's not enough to attention that had been paid to Nestle in front of the pack of people. And chief executive of Nestle, Mark Snyder, said that uh, consumers want a healthier diet and reviews claim that processed food made by his company and other multinationals usually are unhealthy. But many of its products tell a different story. The report highlighted products like 
Diogiorno, a tree made croissant, cross pizza, contains 40% of the daily recommended daily allowance for sodium, while for a hot pocket pepperoni pizza, 48% of the same. And furthermore, it's San Pellegrino drink that has over 7.1 gram of sugar per 100 milliliter was rated an E, which the worst mark available under the Nutri score. Meanwhile, the issue has attracted the attentions of Indonesian's public and government, where Nestle is also known to operate and distribute its product here. So let's see the clarifications from the food and drug administered or BPRM in the next graphic. So here it is, we can see the clarifications from BPOM. Here it is. BPOM is like Indonesia FDA and a government agency of Indonesia and responsible for protecting public health through the control and supervisions of the food quality. And here it is about the clarification. The information is related to unhealthy Nestle products, not related to food safety and quality. The information relates to the inclusions of the nutritional content of the product, is particularly the content of sugar, salt, and fat. The information on the content of sugar, salt, fat is a part of conclusions that information on nutritional value, which is mandatory. And BPOM has increased out an evaluation process on the safety, quality, and nutrition and labeling specs including the inclusions of ING in improving the market permit number for processed food products, including Nestle products circulating in Indonesia. And the agency ensures that it always carry out safety, quality, and label control through sampling and testing. Thus, BPOM has warned business actors to be obligated to ensure that the products in circulation meet the requirement for safety quality, nutrition, and also labeling. At the same time, Director General of a Domestic Trade and Ministry of Trade, Okay, Nurwan, stated that food and beverage products from Nestle circulating in Indonesia had passed the test by the Food and Drug Supervisory Agency. This means that all Nestle products in Indonesia are eligible for distributions. Meantime, this issue also creates unrest in the community. This concerns largely represented by the response given by the Indonesian Consumer Foundations, which is contained in the next graphic. We can see the response regarding unhealthy Nestle products issue provided by YLKI. First thing first, BPRM as an institution that provides food and beverage and drug safety certifications has a role and is responsible for these findings. The second one, the agency must conduct a more detailed investigations to ensure protections for consumers because it involves food safety. And the third one, urge BPOM to provide an explanation regarding terminology and health standard supply. And the last one is that international institutions such as the World Health Organizations can intervene in investigating this matter. And regarding this issue, the Indonesian Consumers Foundation urged the Minister of Health to be more stringent in regulating and controlling the consumptions of the sugar, salt and fat in the food and beverages. The chairman of YLKI Daily Management, Tulus Abadi, stated that so far the Ministry of Health has not been firm in regulating this matter. Even Tulus assessed that the Ministry of Health had lost its vangs and dealing with the large corporations. Not only that, the House of Representatives also highlighted this case where it was stated that if the documents were true, then BPRM should be held responsible for neglecting to pass the products. And yes, viewers, after all, keeping smart consumers before buying or consuming products and, of course, not be easily influenced by circulating issues. Stay tuned to Market Headlines because we will be right back after this quick break.